This seo nage was applied after stepping out wide to the side. It's a variation of seo nage and not a tai otoshi. When applying an ippon seo nage, you can also step out wide to the side of your opponent's right foot. In seo nage, you throw your opponent by lifting him over. But in seoi otoshi, you throw him by pulling him down over you. Seoi otoshi on both knees. Whether it's seoi nage or seoi otoshi is decided by whether your opponent was lifted or pulled over. This is seoi nage with both knees on the floor. We judge so because after going down on both knees, the throw was made by raising the hip and hoisting the opponent's frame. Hi, this is Shadi, and today I want to put a very complex and intricate subject to rest. It is the subject of Seo Otoshi, Seo Enage, and a hybrid that people think exists between Tai Otoshi and Seo Enage. So, this is something that I see happen all the time. People think that a drop Seo Enage, regardless if the hips were used or not, is just Seo Otoshi. And even people who went to the Olympic Games that I know think that a Seo Nage grip with Tai Otoshi legs is a hybrid called Seo Otoshi. So today, this can all be fixed and understood once we understand the difference between a drop and a throw. And a drop and a throw are completely different. And first, let's start with a throw. So. Let's start with Ippon Seo Enage. So Ippon Seo Enage is with one hand, there is a close contact with the shoulder, it's called a shoulder throw, and then you cut down. And once you cut down, you make a huge contact with the back. And that contact with the back is what hurls Uke over, and the contact with the back provides a big lift, whether you see it or not, the lift is there. And then once you lift something up and then throw it on the ground it becomes a throw so let's take a look at koga legendary for this technique so once he makes contact notice uke's legs how they just lose contact with the ground and thus he is lifted and from there he is thrown so let's take a look here if you have the say uh, tai otoshi legs the fact that you are making contact with the shoulders and the back, you are lifted. Now, uh, compared with Tai Otoshi, the hands are far away from the shoulder and the back, and you are just cut down like a sword. So the leg is used to provide a block, so it makes the throw easier. But it is only with the hands. Uke is not lifted. He is just standing on his legs and just cut down. And the leg is used to kind of, in basic term, trip them over. That's it. There is no contact with the shoulder and the back. So if you are to throw, there is no lift. Here you see a great example by Mayuriyama. Notice his arm just cuts down like a sword and uses the leg to put it in the way. Now, Seo Otoshi... The reason why it is a drop is simply because of how Tori drops on his knees, one or two knees. So there is no lift in this point uh, because the hips are static and there are just the shoulder and the back are used as a block. And from there, he just cuts with his hand and thus making a contact with the shoulder and the back. However, because of his low position, Uke is not lifted, he is just blocked by the back and the shoulder and cut down with the arms. So it's a drop. He's being dropped, he's not lifted up and then thrown. So it is 100% a drop. So Seo Otoshi, once the lip hips are locked in place when Tori is on one or two knees, it is a drop. It is not, they're not being lifted. Now, let's see here Seo Enage. He, he drops on his on his knees, 
but then from there he uses the le the hips to lever and once you lever the hips there is a huge contact with the back as it is rising up and thus uke is lifted so this is seo otoshi in competition notice the hips they are just locked in place when the judoka drops and just cuts down with the hands once they are dropped he lifts himself up in order to go to juji gatame but the hips were not used as leverage even the great inoue fell victim to this technique so here you see the hips stayed in place and just cut down with his arms on one knee let's take a look at a more recent example at the 2016 olympic games ono just drops as he pulls and cuts down with his arms the hips barely moved now serenage on the other hand the hips are lifted and there's a drive with the legs which carries uke on the back so there is a lift even if it's a low lift it is still a lift and thus it's serenage so here you see the legs lost contact before they were even thrown at the end so this is the difference so a drop is when you are just cut down you are not lifted and then thrown and then a throw is when you are lifted so when you make contact with the back and they are bending over to cut down with their hands whether they realize it or not they have lifted their opponent so this is the big difference so when you do a tai otoshi stance but seoenage hands you are lifting your opponent without even realizing it because when you when you glue them to your back and shoulder and you bend over regardless of how your legs are positioned there is a lift but if the arms are far away from you and then you cut down they're not being lifted so the lift can be really uh, apparent like in koga's example or it can be very subtle and uh, just a cut uh, down but they remain standing so this uh, subject is uh, highly debated all the time but i think it all boils down to differentiating between a throw and a drop and the contact with the shoulder it makes it so it hands the name shoulder throw so you are throwing off the shoulder and nage it's because once you bend down even when they provide the resistance is when you see that they are being lifted when there's no resistance you're not gonna see that lift because of the smoothness of the throw but like the koga example uh uke is resisting and thus uh you can see that he was lifted before even thrown and the kodokan example you see that uke is just lifted on the back and the shoulder before they are thrown and on the drop example just notice the hips if they stay locked in place it's a drop and if they are used to leverage the throw then it's a throw if you have anything to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon this was shady thank you for listening